Um, what I want to do is say a little bit about the Academy because I know a number of you are not familiar with it. So for those who've seen this before, I apologize, but it's just to set the scene. We are a, an organization that, that has been recognizing place uh, for eight years now. We, we, we really launched ourselves in 2006 and we've been giving awards to great places and recognizing them. And Bradford, uh, fascinatingly, even though it had already put itself forward to host this Congress, it won uh, the great place category with the wonderful City Park project uh, and place which uh, was collected at the awards last November. And I apologize to some of the people for the pictures, which I'm sure they'd rather not see. But uh, we were delighted that that, that, that uh, happy coincidence took place. Um, but more importantly, we're proud to be associated with places where we've had great congresses like this one. Uh, those are the examples we started in uh, Copenhagen, where we piggybacked a Jan Gale event back in 2006. Then we went to Dublin in 2007 and 2008, not far from here, uh, we were in Sheffield. Then 2009 in Newcastle Gateshead for the Knowledge City. In 2010, the Laird City in Manchester. Then two years ago, we were in Glasgow. And uh, last year, we were in Derry, Londonderry for the Resilient City, which is now, of course, is, is City of Culture. Now, I just want to check, has anyone been to all of them? Well done, Dick. You see another couple of hands? David Rudlin? No? No? Oh. I've got another hand. Yeah. John's been? Okay, excellent. Just, it's, it's, the, the, there's a test later on to, to, to check that you've, you've taken all the information in from all these events. There is a latitude problem. We're not getting much further than north than Glasgow. We're not getting much further south than uh, Dublin. That may change uh, perhaps after this one. Very importantly, in terms of the awards, we recognize and validate places from the city scale to the street and space scale, including towns and neighborhoods. Those have been our finalists since we first launched the awards program. And you can see where they are geographically, as far northeast as Helsinki, um, as far south as Portugal, last year's uh, European City of the Year, and several places in uh, Western Ireland. You see Galway is current holder of the uh, Great Town category. So what we'll be interested in tonight at the dinner are what are our finalists for this year, uh, the winner of which will hold the category for next year. Now I know the voting is complete, I hope you've all voted, uh, we'll be hearing from the top ten which will become the three finalists in each award category. I just want to say something about the Academy which started as a hundred people in the launch in 2006 uh, mainly architects and planners, probably a little bit more towards uh, the male side of the balance uh, proportionally. Now we are greater in number, we're I think 531 to, as of this morning, uh, unless someone's resigned overnight, uh, but uh, we may have got some more in. W what's happened is we've grown fantastically despite the recession and other organisations collapsing and folding, sometimes disappearing or restructuring. And we're really delighted to have the, 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 the growing range in all parts of uh, UK and Ireland, growing in Europe, we've got in North America, and what this doesn't show is our membership in the Far East and Australia. So we are part of a worldwide network where we share experience, lessons, learning uh, from each other. And the intensification of membership and participation that has occurred across uh, UK and Ireland in the last few years has meant that we've set up a regions and nations network to have more events in places like Yorkshire or Ireland or Scotland or the South West. We've recently had an event in Bristol, uh, which is the one in the image, um, and, and we hope to have more in other parts of the South West. And it, it enables us to, to study events, places, and also sometimes work with others like the RSA uh, and so on on, on projects. Uh, and sharing learning, publishing learning, and building knowledge amongst a network. And what I'd also add to that is we have a new youth policy, uh, to quote the, the football analogy, because a lot of our, our urbanists are very experienced and we're trying to grow the next generation. The Young Urbanist Network was inaugurated last month and we'll be looking to have a major launch and grow that out uh, across our, our existing network from this autumn. Uh, and, and the enthusiasm from the young urbanists is, is a wonder to behold, um, and also the deep knowledge that they have that, that they can bring to the academy and the places in our network. 
This year already, here we are, it's May, and we're in Bradford for Congress. We've already had the concluding part of the Glasshouse debates, which we had in St. Martin's, but that had begun in Glasgow, gone to Leeds, then Liverpool, and ended up in London. We've had events on digital urbanism, um, and that will continue with one of the key workshops this afternoon that I hope some of you will find of interest. And uh, only a few weeks ago, we had our Garden Cities debate, the annual Grosvenor debate, um, where Saffron Woodcraft, Debbie Applin, Kate Henderson and John Best uh, all debated the issue of the, the, the past, but particularly the future, for Garden Cities. We have launched our second journal, uh, which is the one on the left there, and our first journal is on the right, and, and we're already planning the content for the next one. Um, so uh, we're looking out for articles and ideas from you, and we have a whole range of future events. Uh, that's just a list of some of them you can see in places like Edinburgh, London, Oxford, uh, and we know of a whole range more beginning to germinate in, in different parts of Ireland and England and also uh, Northern Europe. The assessment visits are a key part of that for all of you. The finalists that will be announced tonight will be visited during the summer. So please take the time, if you can, to go and visit some of the places. It's some of the best CPD that you can possibly get. So I'd encourage you to participate in those events during the summer months in, in, at different levels. Now already we've done some great place learning in the opening day yesterday where we visited the city centre, Little Germany, we went out to Saltaire and Cartwright Hall. So we had a fantastic launch. I know some of you who are from Bradford know a lot of these issues and the backgrounds and maybe even take them for granted. But it was a fantastic introduction to the city for those visiting um, and here we are kicking off the main part of the plenary in the wonderful National Media Museum and the facilities here are absolutely fantastic. The genesis of this Congress, I think, came from a, a discussion Barrett and I had a few years ago in, in a, over a coffee in York, and we thought, what can we do to capture what somewhere like Bradford is doing in trying to rethink itself and share ideas? And what happened last year is that uh, the, the, the leader, ju just newly appointed leader, Dave Green, came to Derry Congress and said, we would like to host your Congress next year. And I'd like to pay tribute to the enormous amount of effort, work, planning and support that has gone into the preparation of today um, by the team in Bradford. As we work through the theme, we will take this concept of the producer city and test it and explore it, kick it around. Uh, in the opening plenary session, uh, we'll have three speakers, Barra, John Eaglesham and, and Zulfi Karim, uh, and a discussion at the end of that. Then we will look at it from a different angle, more economically, uh, with uh, Professor Stuart Gulliver and Michael Ward, um, and that session will be uh, facilitated by Killen, uh, Colin Philpott. We will have a screening of the city by Mumford, for those of you who are interested when we have over lunch. Not in here, it will be at the lunch venue. And then we will have the all-important workshops in the afternoon, where we share themes, explore themes, test some of the issues that Bradford and others are exploring. One on the, the remaking of place, one on uh, culture and skills, another on the economic strategy, one on property investment and economic geography, a fifth on learning networks and exchange, and the sixth one, as I mentioned earlier, on digital urbanism and smart cities. So have a think about which uh, one you might like to participate in. Uh, and then the concluding uh, keynote address today will be from Tina Savi, who's the urban, sorry, she's the city architect from uh, Copenhagen, and her theme will be on urbanism and the unlearning of architecture, which I'm sure we all eagerly anticipate. Please come, if you possibly can, to the fantastic dinner, the Congress dinner we're going to have across the road in the Alhambra Theatre tonight. And I've got to say, because I know a bit of the background, this is going to be truly memorable, not just in terms of the activities of the announcement of the awards and the, the fantastic poetry of Ian McMillan, but also because of the venue itself. So uh, we're del we'll be delighted to see as many of you as possible at that event. And finally, tomorrow, we will have uh, a workshop discussing how we take the findings and the issues and ideas forward in Bradford, across our learning networks and in the future of the Academy. And that will be held in the Impressions Gallery tomorrow morning. For those of you who are tweeting or following Twitter, uh, it's, uh, the, it's going to be hashtag AOU Congress 2013. Um, and also uh, at the AOU, apologies. And also online, if you've got comments and suggestions, uh, please leave them online at uh, www.academyofurbanism.org dot uk slash congress a final word for thanks to our sponsors thank you to the city of bradford for hosting this event 
uh, giving great support and ideas, format, venues, um, and, and some of the, the, the very special events and activities that have been bolted onto it. And can I give a particular uh, warm welcome and thank you to Mayor Bergman and Westfield, who are also major sponsors for this, particularly for the Congress dinner tonight, where you will again hopefully meet some of them. 